It's amazing what we can do just in a few minutes making flowers appear on our paper. This is fun. You're going to love doing it. So get your papers, get your paints, let's get your brushes wet, and let's get going. I'm going to start with my pink. Again, it doesn't matter what color is in front of you. And it doesn't matter if you decide to do these in yellows, to do these in any colors you want. You can go with orange and reds. You could think of poppies, bright red poppies when you do this. Um, whatever makes you happy. So I'm starting to just put paint down. I'm grabbing water. I want this paint to move. And I'll show you something with just that one little spot. As soon as I clean off my brush, and now I bring in some water, just water. I'm going to show you how fast we can make really interesting marks with just water. You see what's happening? I'm getting these ghost-like shapes. I am not wiping my brush off. Because I'll show you what happens. If I was to take a paper towel and wet my brush and then wipe it off, when I put my brush down, now I'm lifting color. And you see the difference in the marks? Here I used a, a dry, thirsty brush and I pulled the color out. Here I put the water in and I allowed the water to move the pigment. That'll soften that down. Would you see how I can think about a flower shape? And then I say, okay, great. I'm just gonna put that in there. Okay, so these are mostly water because I only need them to create um, some shadow edges. So I really love this one in here. Come down this way, round it off more. Clean water on the back edge. Yeah. And I said that I really liked this shape, if I remember. And usually I do because I already picked them out. Okay, so if I have this shape for one of my petals, I'm just adding water on the back side. Okay. 
And you can already see how I'm starting to get this push and pull. This needs a little more uh, of the shapes. This just needed a little more color back there in a minute. So I'm picking this oval right here as the outside of this flower. And then I'm going to come in here and I'm going to bring out a smaller petal. Now I'm going to make this side go back and this is going to stay forward. So again, just some water. I'm pulling out that back edge. And if it starts to look too, what can I say? It's like too hard of an edge. I'm going to come on the other side, the inside of where I just wet the outside. I'm going to come on the inside and I'm going to slightly touch part of it with water and let it just bleed in a tiny bit. And what happens is it starts to almost ruffle. It just breaks it up a little bit so that you can see it's not as hard an edge. I'm going to make it a little bit wider. All that means is I'm just pressing my brush down more. And the reason I'm doing that is it'll give me, it'll, it'll have more uh, darkness there because now I have a little space to move that color away. I'm not up against such a tight line. And now I can move that edge away. And you can see where I've got, I can come back now and darken this edge. And I have this really pretty um, flower shape. If if I would like to add this little pink area right here as the top of a petal right behind, join that little area in. Now I'm going to go into my green. I'll pick up a tiny bit of that cascade green, not a lot. And I can negative paint a little bit of the green back there and pull it away with my water. But you see how now I brought in that little point. Okay, let's grab some of the outside of this. I'm not gonna grab the whole thing because I don't wanna really hard edge through that whole outside. And now just water. And a little bit of water here. And you could see where I start to bring in the edge of that flower. But I didn't want the whole edge. I wanted some of it to be lost and some to be found. So all I'm doing is catching an edge and then softening it. But what's pretty is the top of that petal, the edge I captured is almost white. So it makes it more interesting that there's just more um, colors in these petals. They're not just all purple or all coral or all bluish. This is the olive green. So I can pull in this olive green right through here to bring out the bottom of that flower. Lots of water and lots of water. And now you can see where I've brought in an edge. I think it needs to be a little bit darker there. I'm gonna just pick up a little bit of a, of a more concentrated paint. And that's going to be my stem. Okay.
I can't put the green over here because I have this really pretty flower that I don't want green on top of. And I really think one of the beautiful things I like about this is I love this flower, how it just blends right into this flower. And I wouldn't want to um, change that in any way. This one is so beautiful. I almost don't want to touch it. I think I'm going to add one more petal here with some green. I've got the cascade green on my brush. I'm just adding water. I want it to be really light. And I'm just going to push in right through here another part of a petal poking through. And you can see it now. Clean water. And I just like the way that filled in and made it just a little bit of a bigger flower. Tiny bit more through here. Um, I said I was going to make this center. How was this? It's good. I'm going to come in with some of the Cascade Green. And I play through the paint. I'm going to come in with some of the Cascade Green. And I play through the painting, and I'm always looking to see what's dry. Where is it dry that I can add things to it? So this is going to be my green stem. It's going to start up here. I'm going to jump down here and I'm going to continue that stem and it would be boring if it was all one stem and I'll show you how I'm going to break it up so I put in my cascade green now I'm going to just add a little water to this stem to widen it a little bit with water I don't want hard edges there, but I want it to be um, lost and found. And now I'm going to come in with a little bit of the other green, nice and wet. And I'm going to drop that in and let it run. And I'm going to drop it in there and let it run. And now I'm going to come in with even a smaller brush because I want to drop more color in, but I don't want a lot. I'm going to put in a little more of the Cascade Green. Keeping my eye on that to see how it wants to move up there because I know it was a little bit wet. So now I've grounded that one, and now I'm pulling it down into this stem. And again, I can add water and let it run, keep it soft. And then the last thing I'll do is make sure I don't have those two hard edges there. And to do that, it's really simple. My clean brush of water, I'm basically just drying it off, and I'm coming into it, and I'm coming into it. So it's not that hard. Same thing here. I'm coming into it with just a clean brush. And all I'm doing is lifting both of those tips. I can lift anything I want in there if I choose. I can say I'm going to come up here and lift a little bit, but that's not that important. But now you can see where this has a stem. So I think I'm going to come in. And you'll notice I haven't yet direct painted on any of this. I haven't gone in yet and say I'm painting a petal or I'm painting a leaf. 
the most I painted directly was probably the, the stem. Is look at that, how it became nice and bright, right there in the center. Look at how I created such a really hard edge right there, as opposed to how soft so many of these edges are. So there's change in value, there's change in edges, there's changes in color. So I'm very comfortable that I really feel that I've achieved a lot with this painting. And again,